Why don't I phone the salon? See if they can fit you in for the party. In other words, Sinead, your hair is like a bus couch. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's fine. More than fine. It's your crowning glory. Mm, what's left of it? I thought that you liked the way that Maria judges it. Mm. And don't you think you deserve a bit of pampering? Plus, Beth's going to be taking millions of photos. Hey, Doc, I was just saying, I've got this family party later. It's my dad's 80th birthday. Don't you think that she should treat herself to a blow dry? The day before chemo, though. I'm sorry, Sinead, but we won't be going ahead with your chemo. Um, oh, is it the blood tests? Liver tests. Unfortunately, the results show that your cancer hasn't responded to the treatment as we'd hoped. So it's not safe for you to carry on. 80 years today, 80 years today. He's got the key of the door, never been 80 years before. Woo. Thank you, thank you. Uh, step back, Adam. We're going to give your dad the bumps. Oh. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I'll handle the compensation claim. Well, are you going to let us in? It's fizz o'clock. Just think, darling. You could have been sipping that in a gondola if things had worked out differently. Oh, I mean, poor Sinead, poor Daniel. She's going to be well enough for a party. Party. Yeah, yeah, she'll be there. She's the very definition of a trooper. Oh, come on in. Oh. Okay. I don't get what you mean when, when you say it's not safe. But I'm already dying. Where's the danger? Your body's been through so much already. If we continue with this routine, your quality of life would be so poor that it'll make it harder for you to spend time with your family. Wow. Well, well, well. OK. So, chemo's off the table. What's left? Pain relief. Tackling any nausea. Making sure that you're as comfortable as possible. We are still here for you, Sinead. Your immune system will be weakened, so it's important that you avoid any infection. So, for example, I'll be taking your Hickman line out today. But actual treatment? Like fighting the cancer? You said it had about four months. Well, I was hoping that you'd stay with the treatment for longer. I said to you, Will I make Bertie's for Christmas? You've said no. You then said maybe three to four months. Everyone's cancer reacts differently. We can never be certain of anything for sure. I'm sorry. OK. But what about other treatments abroad? I mean, there have to be other options, right? Even if we have to fund it ourselves. I'm sure you could find one clinic or another that would happily take your money. And some of them work. The real question here is what do you want to do with the time that you have left? You could go looking for a second opinion or a third. Of course, that's absolutely your right. But Sinead, you're going to get more and more tired. You're going to need more rest more support from the palliative care team. You make it sound like I'm on the way out. You've always been straight with us, Mr Merchant. I'm struggling. Because I don't want to know. Not really. We don't need to know. Everybody responds differently, don't they? Yeah. So, even if you gave us a time scale, even if you could, we might get lucky. Hmm? You might surprise us. But what if I end up wasting time? What if I'm sat there in front of the chase and the stuff, important stuff I should be doing, people I should be seeing? Just a ballpark figure. I won't throw it back in your face. Say if I manage longer, I won't resent that. 
just go we talking a couple of months a month weeks I'd say we're looking at a small number of weeks <laughs>